EO. What's cracking, guys? You read that title correctly. All right, their title is Jibri to Bilal and Shida. Y'all ain't going to last. I'm not sure what I'm going to title it, but that's hilarious coming from Jibri. Hopefully they fight. This show needs it. Drama is the number one thing this show needs. It thrives on it. Same with this channel. We need it. So let's see what happens. But before we do, this episode is brought to you by you guys. You guys over on patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. You guys help make this shit possible because YouTube fucking hates swears, dude. That's why every video, like most YouTubers like bleep or mute swears because every video gets instantly demonetized. Uh, so if you want to support and fight back against YouTube, patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. Let's see if I'm worth it. I don't recall seeing that angle before. It's kind of weird that they all hang out. I mean, it makes sense. But he's like, all right, what's up, dog? Okay, now, now I'm going to talk shit about you. Cool until the cameras come on. Or are they coming up with a game plan for the drama? Look how many people it takes to run this. I always try and bring up how many cameras there are, like when they shoot people crying and being in arguments, yet they never bring it up. It's like, oh, you gonna call me out in front of these six fucking cameras? It's like that's just human instinct, it's weird. Now I wanna check in with Ariella and Binium. We first met them a few years ago when Ari took a trip the other way and went to Ethiopia to live with Benny. Oh my God, shut the fuck up. Wow, does she have a weather voice. After a lot of ups and downs, they decided that their best hope for a happy life together would be to move to the United States. And coming up after that, 14 shot in front of six flags. You guys ever notice that's how the news works? I was listening to it yesterday, and they're like, daughter finally meets her mother for the first time in 16 years since she was born. And then they follow it up with, coming up after that, 14 shot. I'm like, what the... F is this supposed to keep us hooked? What a wild transition. Let's find out how life is treating them. Gotta ask about little Avi. How's he doing? He's great. He's, uh, I'm now getting to the stage where I'm like the proud mom that can talk yes. about all his milestones. See, she probably had to ask that, and that's why they can't hire me, because I would be like, I don't give a fuck. So, how's your kid? Oh, wow, great, good. I wish it was something bad, though. I mean, it's the, what the show needs, that's why. Does he have more of your personality or Benny's? I think both. He's moody like me, but. <laughs> you just answered the question after saying both. God, I fucking hate this bitch. Benny, what do you think? I think he's uh, just like me. He's he's very athletic. Like he's yeah, dancer. He's, uh, he's 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 doing taekwondo. He's doing circus. He's doing circus. I was gonna make a comment about how much he fucking looks like you, but he's doing circus. I've never heard that before. You can, I know that it exists. <laughs> He's athletic, he dances, he does Taekwondo, he does the circus. What, magic tricks? What is he, a sword swallower? I'm proud of him. Very cute, very cute. Switching gears from Avi. Benny, I understand you've been spending some time out in Las Vegas. Good thing right into the bad thing. Holy shit. God, life is so boring when it's so predictable. Fire this bitch. Yeah. Yeah, tell me about that. Yeah. Mm. Tell us about that. Yeah, the uh, Vegas yeah, was, was very crazy. I like it because that's what I, I have to be for my dream for MMA. The other thing, like, the, I have so many people, Ethiopian community, I feel like home, I feel better, like, around there. There's a lot of Ethiopians in Vegas? You went to Vegas without your bitch? Uh, terrible idea. I haven't been to Vegas, but I'd probably die. I don't know how... It honestly seems like a terrible time. Hey, you guys want to drink alcohol and gamble? No. <laughs> Where are the prostitutes? I mean, of course Vinny's going to love Las Vegas. That's Vinny in a city. Like, it's bright <laughs> and flashy and noisy and parties, and I don't really like it. And he likes all that stuff. He... He's a grown man, he should be able to choose where he want to live, you know? He's a grown man, he should choose where he wants to live. Oh my god, that is fucking rich. He wouldn't even let his wife be in the same room as like an electrician or a plumber. He's like, you can't be in here with a guy. Even though she's a full grown, double his fucking age. Wow, the passion I have for the hate for these motherfuckers. <laughs> I don't know them. Hire me, TLC. 
<laughs> you literally think your wife is property. Like, shut up. That's true. But then do I have to go with him? No. <laughs> <laughs> Jabri, this is your dream that we break up. <laughs> Probably is, honestly. He got the green card, and if he does MMA, dude, American dream. You're literally the only bad thing on that list. No, I don't want y'all to break up. I just want you to be but more you supportive. You said they wouldn't last. They're not gonna last. You know, too. You know that that ain't no, gonna work. Their energy, their energy ain't gonna work. Jibri, don't what? put your mouth into your relationship. Let's think no, positive. No, I'll just give my opinion. My opinion don't matter. Don't listen to me. Then why'd you say it, fuckface? <laughs> Stand on it ten toes, dog. Why? Seems like you're projecting a little bit here. I think I think they're gonna last. Y'all gonna last. Y'all gonna last. Y'all gonna last. What about you two, huh? <laughs> y'all ain't gonna last. Y'all ain't gonna last. I'm just giving y'all my honest opinion. Well, not one that anybody asked for, but it's actually good because it helps the show. Drama, see how juicy that was? Mwah. Let's see how the host capitalizes on it. You don't think Bilal and nah, Shida are gonna they, last? they're not gonna work out. I, w I hope they do, but I don't think they will. Y'all ain't gonna last? You don't think Shida and Bilal are gonna That's what he just said. He just said it. Thanks for wasting the fucking airtime. That was probably like $3,000 worth of airtime. Well, my gut's usually right. Boop. And the host with the dismount. Great feedback. Why is she even there? Why is she on camera? She could be off camera asking these stupid fucking questions. Dude, she is taking cocks to the uvula. Is that what it's called? The uvula, the fucking punching bag in your throat? That was an odd episode. Let's talk about your kid and now let's talk shit about you. I would have been like, dude, thank you, Jibri. Yo, thank you for bringing that shit up, dude. We needed that. That really sparked the fucking show. Because nobody wants to hear, oh, it's going good. The kid's great. Everything's great. It's like, that's not why I asked. The tell-all sucks. Does anybody actually like the tell-all, aside from, like, when they argue and shit? Because that is just inherently compelling. TLC, since you have to watch this legally, they copyright fucking everything. Hire somebody else. Anybody else. Doesn't have to be me. It should. Just put me in a wig and let's just see if anybody notices. They won't, because I will be in blackface. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. If you want to see some more shit like this, I actually do stand-up comedy. I have a series called The Comedian over on my second channel. It, like, documents and shows uh, me doing open mics to the fucking top. I'm, like, sending out clips to start doing shows in, like, the Chicagoland area, and then it'll, like, it'll spread out to other states. If you want to see me doing sets and shit like that, it's not as bad as it used to be. In the beginning, you can see the evolution in the beginning. So fucking terrible. Like, hard to watch, bad. But not, now it's not as bad. So if you want to see that, youtube.com slash Markarski, that is my name. But if you can or don't want to, I totally understand. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's keep that algorithm going, baby. I love you. Mwah.